the Bible instructs us as Christians to pray without ceasing, meaning to stay in communion with God, talking to God at all times. We, don't, we cannot take a break and say, today I'm not going to pray or I'm not going to pray for a week, then I'm going to come back. No, you have to stay in communion with God so that you do not dry up. But one of the reasons why the Lord wants us to pray without ceasing is so that we may have the spiritual power and the spiritual authority to defeat the kingdom of darkness while we are here on earth. And I want to share with you a vision on why we need to be very prayerful when we go to the hospital or when we take our children, our relatives to the hospital. I'm not saying that people should not go to the hospital. I go to the hospital a lot of times and you can find a lot of helpful medication, a lot of helpful medical procedures at the hospital. But what I'm sharing in this video is that even as you seek medical help, you also need to stay prayerful because Satan is always roaming about like a lion seeking whom to devour. In this vision, the Lord showed my husband what the Nephilim in the hospitals, what they do when people come to the hospital to seek medical treatment. So the Lord gave my husband a vision and in the vision he saw he saw a man who was critically ill and he had just been rushed to the hospital. The vision began with the man arriving at the hospital and a lot of medical staff ran to, ran to receive him at the emergency section and uh, took him inside, you know, for treatment. And the man was at the point of death, like literally almost dying. And he was surrounded by a lot of medical staff, nurses, doctors and they were all seemingly very busy doing all that they could in order to save his life but the lord opened my husband's eyes to hear and to see what was actually happening what these people were actually doing in the spirit and although physically they all seemed to be working you know for a good cause like to be working to save a man's life then he realized that he realized that many of these medical staff who were at that hospital were actually nephilim i have a series of videos on the nephilim you know the demon incarnates demons coming here on the earth in a human like body just in order to mingle themselves among the seed of man in order for them to have you know like better access to pollute man and to have better access to man and to lead people to hell so you can watch my other videos where i explain that but there were a lot of nephilim medical staff who were there at the hospital and unknown to the man you know he was so helpless like in that helpless state and unfortunately this man was not a christian he was not born again and he was not ready to enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, he was living in sin at this point. And because these, these people, the Nephilim, you know, they're able to see in the spirit, they're able to tell who's a child of God and who isn't a child of God. And when they were there, my husband began to see them communicating in the spirit. You know, it wasn't something that they were saying physically. So people who are in the physical could not hear them say these things physically they were like oh we need to save his life you know but but they were also able to communicate in the spirit among themselves and what they were saying was we really can't wait for this man to die we really cannot wait to begin tormenting him and as soon as my husband heard that he knew that this man was actually headed for hell and this demon incarnate they were not interested in saving his life but they actually wanted for him to die. So this man was so helpless at the hands of these people whom he thought had an interest in saving his life, yet they wanted him dead. They were not actual people, but demons. So this is why we need to be very prayerful, even when we go to the hospital, 
And in, even w- wherever we go, the Lord had told me this, that even when you go out, like when you buy things, you know, pray for those things. There's a lot of demonic pollution in the world. I can tell you that, you know, but that's another topic for another day. So that is one of the reasons why the Lord wants us to be prayerful. So even when you take your family for medical treatment, still remain prayerful, you know, pray for them, cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ. Like I have also experienced this. I remember in 2015, my sister had an accident and it was actually an attack from the Nephilim. You know, I talked about it in one of my Nephilim videos. But what actually happened is my sister Zipporah had an accident. And when she had an accident, we rushed her to the hospital. And when she went to the hospital, you know, like when we took her to the hospital and they did all those, you know, they examined her and she couldn't walk. And then the doctor told us that she had a spine injury, that her spine was broken. So it was really shocking uh, for a medical professional to tell us that my sister's spine was broken, yet she was able to stand. Although she couldn't walk, you know, but at least with support, she was able to stand. So it was really shocking. And then the Lord gave a pastor a message, you know, and told us that, you know, uh, the agents of Satan, there are some of them that are in the hospital. And when they are there, what they want to do is they, they have made a, a negative pronouncement over your sister and saying that she has a spinal injury, yet she doesn't even have that. And all that they want is for you to accept it so that they can actually make it a reality now and actually launch that attack. And we, st- we started to pray against that and rejecting that, you know, we were like, there's no way that my sister can have a spinal injury. You know, it was just impossible. Like the signs were so obvious that she didn't have that. Although they were saying that, And we began to pray until my sister was healed. And, you know, even when we went back home, she couldn't walk for some days, but then she started walking. So, like, there are a lot of agents of darkness, even at the hospitals. So when you go to the hospital, don't just leave yourself completely in the hands of these people, but remain prayerful, you know, keep praying. I remember I had an encounter myself, like, when I was having my son, I remember where uh, my husband took me to the hospital and my sister was there as well. And when we reached there, you know, I remember that when I sat on the bed, you know, like there were a lot of nurses who were coming into the room, like uh, midwives who were coming into the room. And my husband was there, my sister was also there. But there's something that happened to me when I was there. You know, I actually saw this very real like you know like in the physical but i was really shocked when my husband and my sister told me that they didn't see anything but you know when all these people were coming i i remember this very clearly that there was one who came to me and then told me that what are you doing are you praying you know this is not a church this is a hospital why are you praying this is not a church this is a hospital you know so of course i You know, like I wasn't in that state where I could um, tell this person anything. And when I told my husband and my sister, like, oh, there's somebody who told me this. They were like, we never heard anything like that. Like, we didn't see anybody like that. So that's how come I concluded that. That's how come I concluded that the person I saw was obviously a spirit being, you know, like a demon or something, you know. But because my husband and my sister were actually there when this person came to me, but I actually saw this person very real and heard the person. And she said those very words and said, why are you praying? This is not a church. This is a hospital. There's no need to pray here. So um, I had a difficult delivery, you know, but I remember that when I was praying and then I had a vision that night in the vision i saw a doctor you know a lady doctor who came to me and in in the physical this lady was actually one of the doctors who were attending to me who had been coming to check on me 
and she was somebody whom everybody in the hospital were like uh, highly praised and said, oh, she's a very good doctor. You know, if, if, she's, if she's the one attending to you, you just know that you are in safe hands. You know, that's what a lot, I had heard a lot of positive comments concerning her. And she was the one who was attending to me physically, you know. But I had a vision that very night. I spent a while, I, I had a vision that very night. And this doctor, the very lady, came to me like I saw myself lying in the hospital bed where I was lying physically, and it was night. And this lady came to me, the doctor, and then she, she came to me and she was really angry. She hit her fist against the bed and said, I'm tired of dealing with children of God. I'm tired of dealing with children of God. And when she said that, I knew that whatever they wanted to do to me, you know, whatever complications that they wanted to bring in my delivery, I knew that they had been defeated because we were praying and then there were other people who were praying for me. So at that moment, I knew that they had been defeated. But, you know, this was someone who physically seemed like she wanted to help me. But I had a vision and she was saying that she's tired. she was tired of dealing with children of God because obviously she couldn't prevail in doing to them what she wanted to do to them. And so the very next day, you know, that's when I even had the breakthrough and my son was born like with no complications. But it just shows us how real these things are, that we need to be very prayerful because if we're not prayerful, you know, the enemy is going to prevail. The Lord warns us so that we may not be caught unaware, so that we may not be caught sleeping you know, we do not need to be unaware of the schemes of the enemy. So we need to be prayerful. Like when you go to school, you need to pray. Even at school, there are agents of darkness who are sent there to work against you. The agents of darkness who are sent there to work against you no matter where you are. When you go to the hospital, they are there. Because Satan wants to be among the children of God. But if we pray, he cannot prevail. So I really wanted to come here and encourage you, especially in the hospital, because when you go to the hospital, you know, that is the place where, you know, it's a place that deals with life and death, I would say. You know, like the things that they do to someone could either result in their life being saved or them dying. You know, we know that God has the final say when it comes to life and death. But the truth is that they can terminate someone's life. They can cause unnecessary complications. But the Lord wants us to be very prayerful. Even when you go to the hospital, make sure you're praying. Whatever you're doing, you know, that, that is why the Lord encourages us and says, pray without ceasing. And that is the way that we're going to have the victory. Because God's children have been assured of victory. So the Lord isn't telling us all these things in order for us to be scared but he's telling us in order for us to be able to be in a position to win and to defeat the enemy so that we may not be caught unawares so that the enemy will not outsmart us so be very prayerful in everything that you do so that you may be victorious